Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, with drought conditions ravaging the agriculture sector, the Ministry of Agriculture has set aside $104 million to help farmers. Agriculture and Fisheries Minister Floyd Green outlined details in the House of Representatives today. Andrea Chisholm has details. The $104 million will go towards five main areas. The majority, $48 million, will be used to buy three more water trucks to get the commodity to farmers. $8 million has also been set aside to truck water. Farmers are again reminded to maximize the water they have by installing drip irrigation systems. We're allocating $10 million to provide some irrigation drip kits for some of our farmers. $3 million will help farmers to practice mulching, using material to cover the soil and preserve moisture. We're going to be helping to desilt reservoirs, conducting, constructing check dams, and implementing soil conservation techniques, and importantly, rehabilitating catchment areas so that we can increase their water holding capacity, improve water quality, and enhance resilience. We have identified $15 million to rehabilitate catchment areas across Jamaica. And $20 million to provide vegetable seeds. Our vegetable lines have been the hardest hit by this drought. Whether it be lettuce, cabbage, tomato, we are seeing significant reduction and as such we want we are going to be providing vegetable seeds to ensure that we can get production back up so we will be distributing high quality climate resilient vegetable seeds to farmers across the country the seeds have been carefully selected to withstand varying climatic conditions ensuring a more reliable and sustainable food supply in the meantime 29 million dollars has been allocated to continue the fishery sector production improvement program Four million will go towards motor fuel grants. Four hundred fisher folk will get ten thousand dollars each. This grant, Madam Speaker, will be for fishers who consistently maintain their fisheries license and who have maintained their license over the last two years. One of the challenges that we have, Madam Speaker, is that people get licensed and then they do not renew their license. And we're trying to incentivize the renewal of that license by ensuring that the ones who do well, we give them some grant towards fuel. 50 young people, including women, will get $120,000 each to buy fishing gear. We're going to make a grant available to, produce, to provide life jackets, marine VHF radios, and GPS devices for approximately 500 licensed fishers at a value of $7 million. That will assist those who operate offshore. Another 600 fisher folk will get $20,000 each for fishing gear. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.